Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What is coming next inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team? That's going to be the question we're going to try to answer today. Look at a lot of things related to ones to watch ending because today is the final day of ones to watch and at 6 p.m. UK time, all these cards go out of packs, the objectives go away, and a lot of the SBCs expire as well. So I want to talk about what could be happening after today in terms of content, in terms of the ones to watch promo. Will they put teams one and two back into packs? Will they do a new promo this Friday? What's going to be happening? I want to talk through that. And of course, talk about this market as well and Team of the Week 4 that is going to be coming into the game today. Team of the Week 4 is looking like one of the most OP and best Team of the Weeks. Not that we have just seen this year in FIFA, right? It's only the fourth week of Team of the Week, but like ever, this Team of the Week could be absolutely phenomenal today on Wednesday. So I want to talk about that. And there's a lot of market movements to watch out for with that team of the week today. Ones to watch cards that could be included. And of course, with, with content yesterday on Tuesday being so confusing, if you guys, of course, were aware, we did have a draft your squad SBC, which this SBC costs more than it is to actually buy a draft entry uh, so basically, you're paying more for a draft token than you are to just go pay 15,000 coins to get into a draft. It's confusing, right? I think everybody was just shocked by the squad yesterday um, and how much it costed. But anyways, that's kind of that that content did not move the market yesterday. So a lot of stuff is still very, very high. And I think it could drop today. So I want to talk about all that in this video. First things first, if you're new around here, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are. Are new now let's get into it right today Wednesday team of the week day let's start off by looking at the team of the week prediction because we might have an absolutely incredible team of the week today right this is the foothead predictions by Patrick the goat right Mbappe Mane Mares um, Robertson Sancho Depay DePaul uh, Melee aka the mailman as we call him on stream Gavardiol's card is what a lot of people have been saying is going to be very, very overpowered if he gets an inform. Take a look at this item. Leipzig center back, 90 pace. Kaylor Navas, Ferran Torres. There's tons of great cards that could be in this week's Team of the Week. Now, of course, since it's from international break, right? International break, international games. EA has never done dynamic images for these Team of the Week players that are on international break. So unfortunately, we probably won't see dynamics for these players that played for their countries uh, this last week and a half or so. We're probably just going to have their normal, you know, their normal gold card face shot. But if they do juice up this team and the Team of the Week looks like this, that would be absolutely incredible. Now you can see here that we have three ones to watch items that are in this prediction. DePaul, Depay, and Sancho. Also, Hakimi is getting shouted for a potential team of the week. Um, Sabitzer is being shouted for a potential team of the week. There are tons of ones to watch cards today that are involved in potentially being in this team of the week. So, of course, we will find out at 6 p.m. UK, unless EA drops it early for some reason, we will find out at 6 p.m. UK who is in the team of the week. Now, there's a lot of people that have invested in cards like this Depay, like the Sancho, and all I'm going to say is, I would just be careful with these, right? Again, you it's never guaranteed for them to be in team of the week. If Depay or Sancho or one of these cards does not end up getting in, that their once to watch item has gone up in price, like DePaul even 27,000 coins after he was I believe earlier this week down at like, you know, 20k, right? Even even lower than this, I believe he was 16k before he scored some goals on the weekend. Now he's up, you know, 10, 11,000 coins per card. If you've got some of these ones to watch cards, it's either you're taking a gamble today and you're hoping that they rise after they get a team of the week, or you're selling into the hype as they've risen up a lot already from that performance they had that could potentially get them a team of the week item. So again, we will see how many ones to watch as EA puts in. Are they going to do Mbappe? Are they going to do Teo Hernandez? Are they going to put Sadio Mane in? Is Mars going to get... I mean, seriously, this team of the week and the performances that we saw this last week from these players. I mean, the team week this week could be insane. So we'll see what EA does. And now again, watch those ones to watch items, whether it's in team one or team two, keep an eye on Hakimi, right? He's up a hundred thousand coins. If he does not get into the team of the week, you'll probably see a bit of a drop off on his card, right? Again, we're thinking the same thing with those DePaul and with Sancho and with Depay. So very keep a close eye on those today because that's going to be a very big point of interest today on the market. Now, also speaking about today on the market, yesterday, if we take a look back, was another very, very quiet day. If we take a look 
at the market index on the live graph. Yesterday, the market really didn't move. Now we're down a little bit this evening, just kind of a normal evening drop off, but a lot of cards stayed the same price or even went a little bit higher during the day yesterday because the content yesterday was really nothing uh, very important to this game, to be honest, to the market. So you saw a lot of this stuff stay the same price or even go a little bit higher. Now, today on Wednesday, the past couple of weeks, Wednesday has been the day where you see a big time market drop off after 6 p.m. UK, right? The la last week we called it, we knew it was gonna be happening again. See this drop off from Tuesday to Wednesday last week, 82 points on the index down to 73. Now, one thing we don't have this week is a confirmed promo for Friday. And I think what we're gonna learn today around 6 p.m. might influence the market a little bit. 6 p.m. UK, that is, the content drop. Usually on Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we see the market drop off because people are anticipating the supply of division rivals rewards, right? People are anticipating that supply, the packs are gonna be opened, and they sell cards. We've seen it the past two weeks as we head into Rivals Rewards. So again, you think about cards that could be dropping today, think about all your metas, and you think about just at, at what point we are in this game right now where all these cards are up at prices that are so much higher than they were, and the reason why they're up in price is because people have gotten rewards, they've gotten coins, and they're going out and they're building teams, buying players, and using these cards in their teams, and they're paying coins for them, right? They're buying them, and that's rising them up in price because there's more demand for these players since there's more coins after rewards. Now, people know that rewards are coming again and then they're hoping that's gonna supply the market so they're gonna be probably selling that stuff off this afternoon on Thursday and I think what we might see this afternoon, just like we've seen in, in the past couple of weeks, is you're gonna start to see the market drop off in, later, in that later day time period, afternoon into the evening UK time, leading into the content drop even, and especially after the content drop, uh, people will start to think about rewards, division rivals rewards, and what they're gonna be getting from that, and the pack supply, and I do think you will see some prices drop off on this game. So just be ready for that, be aware of that. If you wanted to take the coins on some players that are in your team, I think it's not a terrible time to do that, because if there is a promo on Friday, I do think you will see more panic selling because that promo will probably be something different than ones to watch. And we're going to talk about that again in a second as well. So watch off for panic selling later on in the day today. Besides the team of the week content wise today, I'm really not expecting much. I wouldn't expect anything really ones to watch related um, since this promo is basically ending today for ones to watch stuff. Now we'll still have Boadu and Wijnaldum available in here, uh, but I believe the 78 plus SBC is going away, of course, uh, with the wants to watch promo ending, your objectives are going away, and it's like a clear stop for OTW. So I really wouldn't expect, expect another wants to watch SBC today. If we get some sort of SBC today, maybe, uh, you know, we've already had a flashback this week. I'm still thinking that Player of the Month Erling Holland is going to come pretty soon, or Player of the Month and Cuckoo. The voting for that is done, so we should see a POTM Bundesliga very soon. That might be today, might be tomorrow, might even be Friday. We'll have to see when that is released, but that should be pretty soon. So again, let's start to talk about what could be happening after today though, right? There's a lot of scenarios. There's a lot of things that we can look at because some people are saying that the ones to watch cards are going to be back in packs, both teams, teams one and teams two. Now, I don't think there's tons of people that think that, um, but just once again, I want to show you that it is not confirmed by EA Sports that teams one and team two will be in packs today. That is not confirmed. The thing that is confirmed with ones to watch team one and two is that if you're still holding your guaranteed ones to watch pack, that is what is only confirmed today. You can only pack a team one or team two player. So I've saved my ones to watch pack. I have not opened it yet. I'm going to be opening that pack today because I should be able to pack cards from team one or from team two. So I'm opening that today. Now, again, here it says for pack release cards in packs, October 13th is the cutoff date. So I, I'm not expecting to see wants to watch team one or team two or both of them in packs today. Now, EA can do whatever they want and we don't have information about this. That's why there's, you know, such a big question mark around what could be happening. But let me in on, let me let you in on some insight about what happened one year ago on this very day of Wednesday. And this is what happened. Last year on this very day, we had the rule breakers loading screen dropped on a Wednesday around the content time. 
after Once to Watch had ended. Last year, Once to Watch and FIFA 21 ended on Wednesday, October 21st. And on that same day, we had this brand spanking new loading screen on a new promo that we thought was Ultimate Screen, but obviously it was Rule Breakers and it was something different. So one thing we are watching out for today is our first panic screen, panic loading screen, kind of telling us what promo might be on Friday if there is going to be a promo. Now the calendar works out a little bit different this year because last year they went into this Rule Breakers promo on the 23rd of October and Once to Watch ended on the 16th, uh, or sorry, it ended on the 20, 21st of October and it started on the 16th. So we're kind of a week early this year, right? If they wanna run the Rule Breakers promo kind of like Ultimate Scream, right? Maybe they'll do Ultimate Scream again this year. So it just, it, we have to kind of also realize that we're like a week early compared to last year. So if there is gonna be a Halloween or an Ultimate Scream based promo, they might not start it just yet and we might actually have a week where maybe they do put Once to Watch cards back in packs or maybe there is no promo but I just can't see them doing that, right? I really feel most strongly that if EA were to do something today, it would be a loading screen for a promo on Friday. I honestly think that we are getting something on Friday. We'll just have to see what EA Sports is gonna have planned and what they want to do with this game. But that is the other potential that we could see today. And I guess the other option is we might not see anything, right? We might not see a loading screen today. They don't usually do loading screens for the promos at the same time every year, every single day. Like they don't time it to where a rule breakers loading screen is going to be dropped on Wednesday this year, just so it's the same as last year. It's not always the same, right? But be on the lookout for a loading screen. If you don't know what we mean by loading screens, basically when you log into FIFA, the screen that it shows you right now, the ones to watch cards, if you see something different there, that is what we call a loading screen. And that will 100% today cause panic selling, right? Especially with rewards coming and people knowing that a new promo is going to be dropping with new cards. They're going to be going out and selling items because they're going to want to get ready and they're going to be pre like preparing basically for what that promo would be on Friday, right? And we'd expect that to drop on Friday. So watch out for a loading screen today. Watch out for that new team of the week and watch off. Watch out for some panic selling. To be completely honest, I'm looking forward to today on the market because these card prices have risen up so much in this past week. Whether it's a card that's, you know, gold pack might, gold card might be going out of packs because of the team of the week potential, like Sadio Mane being 200 and what is he, like 275,000, 254? Yo, that was just literally a 20K undercut. I will take that. Uh, what? All right. Well, let me check Sadio Mane again to actually show you his price. Uh, but Sadio Mane is a 275,000 coin card. I'm going to go list mine up real quick after this. GG's. Um, and his card was like 230,000 coins earlier this week. So huge rises. I do think you'll start to see some people sell off because so many people have bought. And if there is a loading screen or if there obviously is a panic for rewards, I do think that you will see some of these prices dip off in this game. So I'm going to take my nice little, what is that, like 7, 8K profit right there after tax? Not bad. We move. But anyways, that's the video for today, boys, right? We're watching for Team of the Week. There's going to be a lot of market movements with Ones to Watch items. So if you're risking it with a Ones to Watch Sancho, if you're risking it with a Ones to Watch Depay or any of these cards, just be very careful because I do think that if a card does not get in to Ones to Watch compiled with the panic selling that could be today, and if there's a loading screen and if they don't get a team of the week, there might be a buy time for some of these ones to watches. Um, you know, if they don't go back in packs, if they do go back in packs, that's a whole nother scenario. I'm not expecting that, but who knows? It could happen. So big question marks around today. I've tried to lay it all, lay it all out in front of you. Hopefully that does help. I do think one thing's for certain. You will see prices dip off after the content drop today, regardless of what it is as people get prepared for that rewards time frame with division rivals. So that's the video for today, boys. Whether it's Scream, whether it's uh, the Rule Breakers promo, wants to watch back in packs, we're gonna be covering all today live on the Twitch stream. Make sure you hit that link down in the description, twitch.tv slash The Foot Accountant. If you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate The Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.